This is the automation zone. In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at what is a relative and absolute import in Python. To explain this, I have a sample project here. Now in our root directory or in our project directory, I've got two folders here and a file. Folders are also called as uh, packages and files are called as modules. Okay. Do I need an init file? Okay. To make a folder a, a, a package. We do not need if you are using Python version 3.3 or above. Okay, so those guys who are using Python 3.3 and above, you do not need the init file. If you are using something below like 2.7, you will be requiring the init file. We'll be looking at what init file is in our next tutorial. So inside the package 2, okay, I've got two more files. Inside the package 1, I've got uh, two more files here and I've got one more folder called sub package inside that I have one file okay now to explain what um, these absolute and relative imports are let us do first one thing um, I have to import this file okay file one how to import that from now root file is here and package is here you can see this so from package one inside package one I've got file one so from package one import file one okay let me go to file one and let me make a function over here called as run okay now for now i'll make it just it is doing nothing at all okay let me come here let me run this okay let me take the file and let me call the function run okay it runs there is no error there is no output also because it is doing nothing now what if i want to use now this is your current scenario okay file 1 is here file 2 is in the same folder and i want to use the functions in file 2 so file 2 has got this particular function or some other function okay and i want to use this function in file 1 how do i do that so remember these steps very well okay regardless of where you are in the project you have to start from the folders in your root directory okay my root directory has got two folders here package 1 and package 2 the file which I want file 2 okay resides in package 1 and in that there's file 2 so what do I do from package 1 import file 2 okay then I can do file say then I can type file2 dot the function name okay in the same way if I want to import something which is in the sub package okay the exact same steps regardless of where you are again you have to start from the root directory so pa from package 1 import okay my bad from package 1 dot the sub package import the file which you want to import file okay we do the same thing file and the function name if I want to import something from package 2 how do I do that again the same thing from package 2 import file 1 or file 2 depending on what you want and you can go ahead and call the functions within the particular file okay this way of importing okay importing regardless of where you are you have to import from the root directory okay and then you go traverse all the way to the file that you want and then you import this type of imports is called as your relative imports okay sorry uh, absolute imports these are called absolute imports because you are typing the absolute path right from the start till the very end let me run this so the file ran without any errors which means it works okay now second thing what if there's a file which is not in any folder it is outside then that is simple right you just have to go ahead and just do import and just import the file as simple as that or you can also import the functions so from root file okay, from root file import and I can import the 
the function name I guess inside this root file okay I don't have any function that's the reason it did that but if I had a function over here say def uh, test and it has pass okay then I could have imported test okay anyways we will not do this but this is something which you should remember delete okay anything else now okay that's it this is your absolute imports now how would you do the same thing using your relative imports okay so for relative imports you need to use to import or remember two things okay the first thing is a dot when I say dot it means your current folder okay a double dot okay means one step above okay these are the two things which you should note <coughs> so again a dot means your current folder two dots meaning one step above three dots meaning two steps above okay so let us you know practice this first so we'll understand what we are doing let me comment this out let me minimize this um, we'll do the three things over here okay which we are done through absolute imports using relative imports right now so the first thing we need to import this particular file okay which is our neighboring file so how to do that from dot okay so again in absolute okay we did from the package name right so from dot this particular file resides we are in this file right so this file file 1 resides in the folder package 1 so dot basically means package 1 itself so from package 1 we can import mm, which is the file name file 2 okay so this is the way we solved our first line so this is the line which we had done okay or this is the import that we had done using absolute import and this is what we are doing the exact same thing using relative import okay the other thing the sub package okay so how do we do this so from the current folder okay dot your subdirectory okay because in our current folder we have got our subdirectory right so from our current folder go to the sub package import the file that you want to import this works as well so your dot basically would mean this okay um, the last thing from package 2 you want to import file 1 now package 2 is not here right package 2 is here how do I do that so for that you have to do from you know what let me first run these two things and show you if it works let me comment this root file let me delete this code and let me run it so yeah these two imports did work now will our last import work so let me try that from dot means your current folder double dot means you're going two step above okay so two step above uh, okay which is when I, got two, when I go two step above basically I'm here okay uh, in this I will go to package 2 so PSC can you see it does not work okay my bad from from dot okay and double dot it should not work and it is not working as well why is it not working remember when we are going to do something via uh, relative imports you cannot go all the way till the root folder so the moment you hit your root folder it is going to throw you an error okay so if you are using relative imports okay make sure you can traverse anything only within the folder okay this is a very important thing which you guys should note so even if I were to have uh, import root file over here I could not do something like double dot import root file now it looks like it is working but the moment you hit run over here it will throw you an error okay the error is what uh, yeah attempted relative import beyond top level package okay this error basically just means you cannot traverse all the way till your root folder okay 
so if you need to import anything within which is uh, if you want to import any files or you want to import any folders which are different in your root folder you have to go by your absolute imports okay um, anything else okay let's have an example of traversing above here yeah? we did not do double dot example right let's do that what we'll do is we are going to run our sub package okay in our sub package I have this file let me make a function over here called def test okay let me make pass let me close the other two files let me go to my root file and this time let me do from uh, package one dot sub package import the, the file in file dot test if I run this it will do nothing I'm right now in this particular place called file called uh, file okay let me put a few spaces here okay now I'm in this place right here in this file and I want to use the file which is in my uh, parent directory okay so my file is here in the child directory and I want to use a function which is present in my parent directory so one way to do that is by using your absolute imports right ibso and that is very simple you just have to do from package one because it starts from the hierarchy the very first one um, you do import file one and then you can use file you can perform the steps called as file one dot dot run okay and if it is file two I guess that will be much more better file two dot this particular thing if I come over here if I run this it works but how do I do this exact same thing okay using relative imports so as I said okay if you just do a dot it means your current folder if I do a double dot it means your parent folder and this file resides in my parent folder so double dot should work let me try this it works it works also because we have not traversed all the way till our root folder okay so this is the difference between an absolute import and a relative import now where is it helpful and where is it not helpful if your folder structure is not going to change okay go for absolute imports if your folder structure can change go for relative what do I mean by that now this is my sub package right okay and this is my package what if tomorrow I make a new folder okay let me call this as new folder and I want to put my package one within my new folder now if I was using relative imports this would completely fail because now it should not be from package one it should be from new folder dot package one import file two is going to fail but commands such as this from your current folder import file two will not change because regardless of where you are my current folder will always be package one okay so remember if your folder structure can change you go for relative imports if your folder structure is static is not going to change go for relative imports. so go for your absolute imports okay if you have any questions uh, do comment below I know this was a long and confusing tutorial okay if you like my videos do subscribe thank you